Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim 20 where I'm taking a look at the Freeware Edgely Optica which is by Nuke TV, well brought into Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 by NEWK TV and uh, you can get it off of flightsim.to and it was originally created for FSX by Craig Richardson and so it was just brought in by Nuke TV and well here it is, you can see it's a very unique plane it is a ducted fan style aircraft. Not very fast, but of course in the cockpit the view it gives you is rather unique until we get helicopters, but we don't have helicopters. So uh, let me take off with this and we'll see how it goes. It's a little bit sticky initially, but otherwise once it gets moving it uh, picks up speed. Obviously the goal of this plane would be for um, sightseeing in photogrammetry areas in particular which are somewhat laggy if you try and go too fast. You can see no problem with ground handling otherwise it'd already be squirrely. We're at uh, SFO San Francisco International. Uh, the gear does not retract. Flaps of course do. And so taking a brief look outside. So the, the gear is fixed. And we need to retract flaps a little bit more. It's got a lot of flap steps. It really feels the flap retraction, by the way. Well, let's take a look around, I suppose. BB-007, continue for north departure. I will contact you next when you leave my airspace. It's not the most maneuverable thing. It's got a lot of drag because of the duct, as you might imagine. It's not a bad feel for something of this shape. San Francisco Tower, BB-007. Well, let's take a look at uh, the terminal. This is one of those special handcrafted airports after all. Let's go into the cockpit and see how that looks. You can see... <clears throat> you can see the main instruments look fine. I feel like there's some other stuff missing on the side though. But our view of SFO is pretty good out the window. Opening the door is probably not a, well, actually it's not a huge problem. Well, who knows. I think there's probably a, a maximum tolerance to how fast we're going when the door gets opened. So that's its main perk, being able to see outside like that. And of course this is uh, good area for that sort of thing. Uh, I really should... I need a way to avoid having the open door one tag. I'll hold my right click down and we'll have that little menu at the top but otherwise I can look out without that tag being there. So I'm gonna head on over to San Francisco proper and see what that looks like. But yeah, I mean clearly... oh first aid right there, huh? Clearly a good sightseeing plane. And it's freeware. Which makes me happy. There aren't a whole lot of freeware planes for Flight Sim right now. Its max speed is about 130. Right now it bothers me that we don't have more traffic on the highway. 101. Oop, I broke the plane. I tried to go too fast. Take off departure to the north. We'll take the takeoff from outside this time. It comes with nine liveries. I chose this darker one. Uh, it's amusing. Uh, the RPM on the ducted fan is obviously more than 3,000, but the stock dial for the engine does not go beyond 3,000, so that's a minor amusement. Uh, flying this in exterior view is a little bit hard. Ooh, good thing that tower probably didn't have any, I mean that light post did not have any collider. My altimeter is also not calibrated properly. Okay, this time I should avoid breaking the plane. I mean, you really can't beat these views. And once again, I find myself just wanting traffic. Much more traffic. 
At least uh, the main highway has some now. It has the... Is that the south sound? Hold on. We need to check the tag there. Oh, it does. South San Francisco. What else have they got there? The industrial city. Okay. There we go. Sort of an iconic thing. South San Francisco, the industrial city. I forgot the, about the industrial city part. I don't know why it's the industrial city, but probably not that industrial anymore. Maybe it's still industrial. Who knows? There we go. Pretty clear. This, these slopes are sort of blocky, though. Oh, are they gonna fix themselves? Maybe. They're fixing themselves. So, I mean, a better look at the cockpit. The seats are nice. Uh, this this is weird bulge here, though. Oh, it's actually three in a row. That's interesting. That's not usual. But it is sort of an interesting format for the plane, right? I mean, this bubble cockpit. It's very wide compared to regular cockpits. So I guess that's why the three in a row thing works. I was wondering if I could recalibrate the... Now... I don't have an easy way to turn that dial right now. Well, looking pretty nice. Going to get bridge back there. The exact photogrammetry textures aren't super when you're going this slow and you've got this kind of view, though. Could do with some touching up. But obviously still better than any other sim. Yep, look at all the little cars go. Nice little city we've got here. Practically helicopter-ish. But it sure doesn't take off or land on a dime, so there's that. That the top of that building really needs work. That's interesting though, whatever's at the top there. And uh the pier. Got some nice ships. The back view is there too. This is a sort of a back window. You can see the wheel actually. So, Bay Bridge, and Treasure Island there. It's very stable. I mean, it's uh, it's not finicky at all. Feels like it belongs here, even though it's a converted plane. It's... One plane that I would spend most of my time inside in, even though it's outside, of course, is unique. And it's not bad, you know, it's a very decent looking thing. It's got, inside of the shiny metallic feel, it's got sort of a flat paint feel, like a carbon fiber-ish kind of deal. Though, uh, of course, not an issue with the model or anything. Having my wheels sticking out just makes me unhappy. <laughs> so, fixed, fixed landing gear planes I'm not the most fond of. But yeah, I mean, uh, certainly a good rendition of this plane. Converted or not.
Well, I'm gonna try and land at Oakland International. We've got the Alameda to our right right now. And the view from inside, not bad at all. Residential area of the Alameda here. Honestly, uh, I'm a little bit high coming in for a landing and it feels a lot more like a helicopter at this point because I'm nosing down so much and that's, uh, that happens with helicopters too. A lot of nose down as we go along and descend as well. Not, on, not on the last bit, of course, but... Well, this isn't an STOL plane. It's not a bush plane, that's for sure, because it can't do really quick takeoffs. But sightseeing-wise, you know, like I said, this is probably the thing right now. I'm going way too fast. I'll be skimming the runway for a bit. Have I touched down or not? I think so. Yeah. Oh, I didn't give much feedback on the wheels touching the ground there. I heard the stall warning, but... That's the first time landing this thing. But yeah, here we are at Oakland, and it was fairly easy to handle. And yeah, an enjoyable plane for the short hops. Obviously, uh, at the speed it goes, not particularly good for longer trips but well anyway here we are that is the Edgley Optica and I'll put the link in the video description so as I continue taxiing thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time